Kinsey and welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, I'm Kinsey. I make like lifestyle videos, but I also have a podcast and that's kind of what we're going to be focusing on today. I have a podcast called the I Love You So Much podcast. Kinsey Elizabeth, that's me. Basically to sit down and talk with someone weekly and typically like an influencer, CEOs. Um, today we have Ali Webb on who is the founder of Dry Bar and Squeeze. So that's really cool. I like love Dry Bar forever and I'm a Squeeze member. It's like literally one of my favorite things ever. I love Ali. And then we also have Alicia and Remy on for Pretty Basic, like an episode of Pretty Basic, which would be great. Um, and then I have another block this afternoon um, where I'm doing a solo episode. We're doing like a 73 questions Vogue style Taylor, my pretty producer is going to be asking them and then we're doing like intros and ads and stuff so i'm going to show you guys the entire behind the scenes of like how, what goes into a podcast episode what i do how i do all this stuff and whatever this is just like i'm 21 working you know whatever i'm with a network so i'm with dear media do you guys know like the skinny confidential or anything it's like all everyone's with dear media it's michael whatever blah blah, blah. it's cool it's great it's a network they do all my stuff um, so I have a producer there, Taylor, who like you goes with me and I love him and we're like, he's so funny. He's in all my intros too. Um, he's the best. And so I have a producer there and then they edit it. They get me the deals. They upload it. They do basically everything besides like, I still tell them what I want. I decide on guests, but they still help me with outreach. Um, they do basically, I, I do the descriptions. I'm like, what do I do? And I go in and I talk. So like they do a lot of that stuff. So as far as like the technical aspect of it, um, I don't really do that stuff. That stuff is pretty easy to find online. If you guys are looking to start your own podcast, do like Anchor or something. So anyways, this is a day in the life of a 21 year old working gal. So the process of a podcast, we're gonna quickly do this. So we're gonna kind of be going through this all day. The first thing, obviously, I'm majority of the time I have guests, I pick a guest. So a lot of people reach out to me and then I will reach out to some people. Um, I would say it's probably 50-50. Like people are constantly reaching out to be on podcast and then I'm constantly reaching out. Like I have an Instagram board on my phone where I have like people that I would like love to have on my podcast. And when I'm doing outreaches and stuff, like I'll just go through and I just like will reach out to one of them. Um, so that's like one thing that I do. So once they've confirmed, then we set up with the studio and then I like coordinate schedules, whatever we set up a time and then I make an outline and you guys will see that. Okay guys, so it is Monday night at 8.30 p.m. I'm currently working on the outline. Tomorrow is a big um, recording day. So I have both outlines done, the Ali Web outline and then the pretty basic outline, which is gonna be really good. So it's basically just things to jog my memory it's very helpful to have these though. I like definitely recommend this if you're doing a podcast to have an outline so you have like some sort of direction. So like I'll do research, thinking, lots of thinking, hot seat questions, more thinking, what I kind of really want to talk about and like make sure the conversation is like very conversational and very loosely guided but there still is a point because it's not just going to go, like I love tangents but you still want like some good content, you know? So we're going to head off to the studio right now. This is exciting. I'm gonna first show you guys what I pack in my bag for the studio, for studio days. How many times can I say that? Okay. I will pack my laptop and my iPad case. I already have some books in here. I have an iPad charger. I'm gonna need my laptop charger. My AirPods are already in my purse. And then I also just have like books and whatever random and stuff that I need in here. I normally do have like coffees and waters, but I have so much time today. So I am gonna go pick some stuff up before. So for my outfit today, I normally will just wear like, like leggings, a hoodie, like something really casual, especially if I'm doing this after class, but it's summer. So it's a little bit too hot for that. And we're starting to actually record these, so I wanted to wear something a little bit cuter. Um, I just threw on, I thought I was gonna wear this denim jacket, but I guess Coco is. Um, I just threw on an Aritzia black tank top. These tank tops are amazing. This black um, mini skirt is from Free People. It's the best one, it has the best slit. It's amazing, I'll have this all linked down below. This jacket is from Nasty Gal. I've been obsessed with it lately and I've been getting so many compliments, it's just so cute. And then I'm just wearing Yeezy sneakers. I'm a big sneaker gal. So, like I said, I'm heading off to the studio. I record in the Dear Media Studios. They're really cool. You guys probably see them on my Instagram and everything all the time. I'm like, pretty much live there. Pro tip that I really like to do is I like to be like so many episodes ahead so that I'm never behind, but now I'm like 15 episodes out. So I'm like really trying to get it to where the let me post six episodes a month instead of four because I have like way too much stuff and it's way too backlogged. But I always like to be very prepared and pre-record. Like today we're literally recording three episodes. So I'm gonna head off 
to get some matcha before I record. I just like having like a drink and having a second and whatever. The thing with podcasting is like you have to be so on because you're with other people and you have to just like really be on one. And so I like really like to be on one. So in order to do that, um, I listen to Beyonce live on the way pretty much every single time. I do this before every single big meeting. I do it before every single recording. I do it all the time. It really makes a huge difference. My friend Christina told me about this forever ago and I still do it all the time and that's when my best episodes come so we're gonna listen to beyonce live okay i need you guys to send me videos of you and your friends listening to beyonce live because once you start you'll understand what i'm saying okay so we're gonna go to get some matcha a cha cha matcha on robertson it's like one of my favorite places if you guys live in la you gotta go they have them in new york too but it's like literally the best thing ever So I got just my iced matcha latte with oat milk. It's so good. The people here are so nice, guys. I just love chaja matcha. And then I just got these power ball things. As I get hungry, I just wanted a snack for the studio. Okay, so I have my chacha matcha. Well, it's just matcha. I don't know why I keep saying chacha matcha. It's just one of those things that's really fun to say. Um, anyways, I'm on my way to the studio. The people there are so nice. I'm like going back to chacha matcha. They're so nice and so cute. And like every time I come in, they're just so nice to me. So anyways, uh, my studio is like literally around the corner. It's really close to here. And we have complimentary valet. Well, it's not really complimentary, it's validated, but you get it. It's like my favorite thing. I love that. And I love my valet guys. Like, we're really tight in BFFs and they know about my life, I know about theirs, ask about the kids, you know? We're in the studio, very exciting. About to record our first episode. All right, guys, I'm on to recording number two. Look who's here. I can't wait to watch. I just Remy, I feel like. This morning with your sister. Yo, Remy, you're literally the most dedicated. You always know Did what's you up. This morning too. Yes. <laughs> I, watched I literally just promoted it. Like it's like really, really impressive. She your makeup. Yeah. <laughs> you like really know. I'm like, this is my makeshift tripod that I use in them. Oh, this is oh, work. So nice. So just recorded with Ali. It went incredible. I just hit my arm. And now, <laughs> now I'm recording with Remy and Alicia. Um, oh my gosh. Whoa. What are we talking about today? So oh yeah, so I didn't tell you guys that at all. I can't see you. Hey, how are you? Hi. Um, so I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna do her well, I have our outline. Okay. So, Perfect. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Here we are, we have our outline. Getting ready. I'm so excited. Wow. Also, we were started. Oh, there's Taylor. My favorite thing about Taylor is when I'm recording or something, sometimes, or like there's photos, sometimes you just see like the man bun oh on top of the background. Now I, need, now I need to cut it. Everyone knows about it. <laughs> what would you do? What would Lauren do with her Instagram stories of you? My hair, it would, it's, time for, done. it's time to cut. It's, I think, <laughs> give it one more month and it'll be done. It'll be back to my old self. You've been Lots saying this love. for so long. Yeah. Donate it. <laughs> Oh, you're right. I should. I give someone a win. Like you it. Locks of love it. Locks of love it. Here we are. Okay, recording. We're good on this. We're good on that. Perfect. Here we are. <laughs> well, they both have been on this podcast before, but separately. And it was before you guys were even pretty basic, I think. Yeah. We you, at least recorded well, before. When you recorded it, like, you did it at your house, right? Yeah. I remember yeah. hearing about that, and then we did it here, but like yeah. really early on. We just wrapped the second recording. Yay! Yay! That was fun. Okay, guys, so I have two sessions today. I just finished two recordings with Ali and then with Pretty Basics, so Alicia and Remy, and they went great. They're all, I mean, I love Alicia and Remy and I are friends, but Ali was awesome, and I'm really excited for that episode to come out. So by the time that this is up, the Pretty Basic one will at least be up, and then the Ali one should be. I have like 15 other episodes that I recorded. I tried to space them out and kind of have some that are like more entertaining, more like thought provoking. Like last week I had a more serious one. So this week I'm trying to like have a fun one with Alicia and Remy and like leadership and then I'll do productivity, like kind of mix it up. So it's not the same thing every single time. So it is now um, basically my lunch break, I guess. I have an hour and 10 minutes until my next session and the next session, Taylor and I are recording um, a solo episode, intros and ads. So it's gonna be really fun, I'm excited for that. 
and then yeah i'm gonna show you guys at lunch just like branding stuff i've been working on um i'll show you guys a little bit of things of like how i do my stories um how i just like promoting and stuff like that we have a whole video team as well through jam media that does a bunch of my like social posts so a lot of those stuff um either like lana does them or um jam media does them so it's like a whole team it's really cool but I just love this like it's one of those things where like I leave the studio and I feel so much better It doesn't matter what's going on in my life and I'm having a really bad day if I leave the studio I'm like literally I just feel like amazing like it just puts me in the best mood So I'm gonna get sweet green and then I will talk to you guys there and show you guys the stuff that I've been working on Just parked heading into sweet green for my healthy lunch Here is my lunch. I just got a salad from sweet green and I'm just gonna sit up here and do some work It's really loud. I like my apple pin at the studio for sure so right now i have some emails to answer for guests that want to come on and scheduling that are gonna be in town um also i use good notes i'll show you guys a sneak peek at some stuff that's going on so for stories i like to use the app eight millimeter and then that's where you guys see all these stories that are my highlight i actually just posted one but if you guys go to my instagram then you guys will see podcasts i haven't ever taken any of these off really so it's 44 weeks ago it's like with Chris, a bunch of guests that I have. It's just like this whole thing of all of the podcasts. Oh my God, that's all the old branding. But we did a lot of really cool stuff. Like lots of really, really cool stuff. So this is a bunch of like just stuff that I've done for promotion and all of that. We're working on new covers as you guys can see. So this is gonna be so cool. So many options. Like I'm just absolutely obsessed with all of this stuff. I think it's just so freaking cute. Okay, so we're in the second session. Taylor's about to come in. So quickly, I'm giving you a tour. Here's where Taylor sits, all of that equipment. My um, art stuff is normally up here. We have cameras now because we're videotaping stuff. This is the table I sit at, Dear Media, our mics, headphones I always use as a tripod, the beautiful view. Like, it's actually unreal. And then here's the camera set up, me again. But this is the studio, super, super fun. Very, very cute. All right, guys, we're recording the third episode of the day. We're doing a 73 questions. Taylor's asking my questions. Taylor, do you have anything to say to the vlog? I'm curious to find out some of the answers to these questions myself. Really? They're good questions. See, here's the thing. Taylor knows majority of what happens in my life. I was telling Alicia and Romy this. I'm like, he probably knows more about boys stuff than like most of my friends. There was something you said earlier that I'm not gonna say because I don't know if, if I can yet. Yeah. I haven't heard it, but when you turn that off, I'm gonna ask you about it. So. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, perfect. So. We just recorded another solo episode, and now I have an ad read for Fabletics to read. I can't show you this, but basically that's like all the ads that you guys hear throughout the podcast. So I'm gonna do that. I normally will record like intros and ads together. I record an intro every week, so it's more current, because a lot of my episodes are recorded like sometimes like three months before. So then I'll do an intro every week, so it's more current and like up to date, and it's not like, I don't feel like the episode is so old when I post it. So that's what we're doing right now. Hey guys, I just really quickly wanted to talk to you guys about Fabletics. You guys know me, you know that I love working out. I basically have moved into my Hot Pilates studio. It's very annoying of me, but like I'm constantly working out. What the heck? Does this happen often, Taylor? Not that often. Maybe Whoa. six times happened. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we're gonna do the intro for this week's episode. Taylor's always on these. They're like probably like five to ten minutes, but this one's gonna be a shorter one. And yeah. Wow, I love this Q and A. How does it? You've never, I've never seen you in this chair before. Should I let my hair down? Ooh, kidding. let's let's see. What does it? What does it do? What does it look like? I don't know. I never wear it down, so let's see. It's so much long. I like always forget how long it is until I see it on Lauren's stories. Uh, let's see. What looks best? Eh. I can't tell. There you go. Keep it down. Keep it's it already down. down. It's already down. So this is my producer Taylor. If you guys have not already gathered. Um, I've already talked about this multiple times, but basically for my podcast, I'm with Dear Media, which is my network, and he's my producer, so you do like, I, you do like the majority of stuff. Yeah, you've probably heard my voice multiple times. Multiple times, he does intros with me, um, he knows basically everything about my life, um, it's a really great job. I was telling Alicia and Rumi that, I'm like, he has to listen to me talk, I'm like, I feel so bad for him, it's a there's horrible a, There's thing. a lot of things that I hear that I can't really talk about because when, when someone else is here I can't say oh what's going on with this because I, I you can't. You don't know if they know. Exactly. Yeah. I, so I have to be somewhat, 
I have to maneuver. It's like maneuvering around a line, uh, minefield uh -huh. where you don't know where to step. So that's why I usually wait because then even today, I even was like, he waited like, oh, wait after something later. You're like, you're right. We need to remove that from the episode. So yeah, I, I pay attention. Yes, he knows. He knows. So um, we just have some questions we're gonna be answering about the podcast. You do more of the technical side of it. I don't really do that. So people are asking. Oh, for hosting platform. Yeah, like what do you do for hosting platform stuff like that? So there's a couple different options right now. I know for I know for a fact that the two leading ones is anchor and I think anchor yeah. had something to do anchor just got bought out by Spotify and they are a, like a, a full full spectrum like hosting platform we use Libsyn for all of our shows and we've used a very uh, a couple of different ones of them I think Libsyn is the most functional it's easy to use anchor might be the number two for it so and if I, you're doing your own podcast, like yeah, they're yeah. they're all fairly easy. It, it's more or less, and a lot of both of both sites or tech all sites that you go to have the a very very in depth of like how to guides to kind of what to name it, like what your RSS feed is. The RSS feed is the an RSS is a signal that gets sent out, and so when you when you download a podcast, it's all coming from one place, and that's what Libsyn is or what what the hosting platform is. So it gets sent out. So you're not really downloading from anything. It's pulling from an RSS feed and through Libsyn or through through the sorry through Anchor or what, some of the other options. It's all an RSS feed is that you're getting, and th they're all easy and functional to use. So it, it's more or less preference. Okay, I'm so glad I don't have to do that. Um, okay, they want to know about how we work together on creating episodes. Well, I told Taylor that he could never leave my show because I would literally die. So that's that. I, I want to say there, the good thing with, with you is you're, you're really easy to work with. And mm -hmm. I, not everybody is I'm like sure this. The camera's dying. Okay, and going. she's, you're, you're really good with, with taking criticism and not like there is, there's never been a whole lot of criticism, but taking criticism Helpful. and being able to pivot for it. Yeah. So there hasn't needed, we haven't needed a whole lot of, of like shifting in the episodes, you know, like yeah. in the beginning, in the beginning, I want to say the, the intro and outro was more or less just you kind of saying like, let's get into it. And then you've, now you've added, you know, adding like a, you know, five minute personal touch to it. Yeah. So we've made pivots here and there that I think, I think strengthen it. I think one of the next ones that we're going to do is we're going to add intro music. Yeah, to it. I know we need so to do that. I'm so bad at That's one of the that. next things that we're going to do. So th I'm kind of rebranding it right now though. Yeah, too, exactly. Like cover and that's, and stuff. that's in everything you've done is great. So it, it, it is like a collaborative effort where we like, I like to make sure that if something comes up, I will recommend it. And again, if, if something's ever a bad idea, I always, my, I think my main du duty is to kind of tell you that's not a good idea because yeah. having someone that will tell you, Hey, that's a great idea when it's not, is probably one of the worst yeah, things you I can do in like that. business, yeah. like a yes man or a yes person. Is, is a horrible idea. So that's something that I don't like to do. And yeah. uh, anybody else who, if, if anybody listening ever works with somebody like that, it, it's a danger to, to dangerous place to be in. We just like work well together overall. It's like a really good team dynamic. And you did a really good job. We interviewed someone today and it was kind of, this is, I want to, it's not the first person that was outside of the friend group, but some, or like someone that out outside of Outside of the big, like, general bigger circle. Exactly. Yeah. So this was the first time that I would say, uh, that was like and, a bigger deal. And it was great. Yeah. And you did a good job. Good, so I, I think that realistically you don't need a whole lot of, of like, like pointers or anything. I think, I think you're natural. Oh, thanks. Um, people want to know how Michael is as a boss. Okay. So I've worked <laughs> with Michael. This is, I've got a good answer. I worked for Michael for almost 10 years in various businesses. This is, I want to say the third or fourth one now that I've helped him with. So I've been with him through thick and thin and as a friend, he's great. He's loyal. He's a They've really been friends since they were 12 too. Yeah, he's a very, very hard worker. But I would say the one thing that I, I, I think is his biggest trait of why I stick with him is because I believe in his drive and his, wherever he has like an envision to go, he will do everything in his power to get there. Yeah. So he's not someone that just says like, hey, I wanna do this and this and this and this. He will do his best to get there and he's always in the ship with me. Like we're in the boat rowing. Yeah. So if it fails, I know that it's a collective failure and it's the same thing. I never want to let him down and I know that he doesn't want to let me down. So there is that kind of trust and I think that all of his employees have that. So he's a very, very loyal person and he's a damn hard worker. And no, yeah, this is, is not bullshit. I tell him, to, I, I will tell this to his face. And, and of course I give him, I, I, I if something, if, if he's for some reason, if he's doing something that I'm thinking it's not a good idea, I'm very honest with him. And I think that's one of the strong points of my relationship with them mm -hmm. is it is not again it's the same thing i'm not always like yeah great idea great idea and i think that it, it, it is like a two-way street with that and i think i think i'm a good employee to him and i'm a good friend and again i i don't even like to consider myself an employee of his, his yeah. because i am a friend of his first 
and a like technical a, employee. Yeah, but, but like I, more of like a part. Yeah, yeah like, exactly. So I never really use. I never even think of it in that regard. But he, yeah. trust me. Uh, he's as good as he seems, and he's as nice of a person as he comes off as. Yeah, he really person. is. He really is. Okay, people are asking, how did I decide on a name for a podcast? I should have looked them up because we talked about this on an intro recently. I'm going to look them up and cut in here and, like, talk about this. Okay, guys, it was me from the future, and I pulled up, finally, the email, which I don't even think I sent over the whole email. These names are awful. Terrible. And, like, I love the I Love You So Much name, but I also hate it, so, like, Whatever. It's really I Just Love You with Kenzie Elizabeth, which we must have switched to I Love You So Much. I always say you either will or you, you either do it or you don't, or like you either are or you aren't, basically. So we were trying to play with that, which it was just too difficult. Um, boss things with Kenzie Elizabeth, and I said, hate this. That's literally it, and then we just said I love you so much. Um, you know what? Did, did you just make friends for life? Oh, Taylor wanted friends for life. You could also combine with You Move Me with Kenzie Elizabeth. I was in Greece at this time. Yeah, so glad we didn't love you so much. That is all. But I just liked, the reason I went with I love you so much is because IOYSM for branding purposes. And what did you say? You said it, it came full circle or something. Yeah, so it, it has to do with a lot of the people that you have on are their fans of yours. Now, even even the one that you had today at the end, she's like, oh my God, you're so great. And she said, you need to have, I need to have you come on her show, which we definitely do. Yeah. And I think it is like once people get into the, the room with you and they feel your energy at the end, it, it is this kind of like this back and forth, this, this, oh shit, what's the term? This understanding of of you it's like this appreciation this like mutual appreciation yeah. for each other where it is like when they walk away you're like hey like i love you in the sense of like i i appreciate what you do it's like as a fan as a as a new fan or as just you know someone that's coming on the show regardless if it's someone you know or not i think when yeah. they walk walk away there is that like that love aspect yeah i want people to leave feeling refreshed yeah. and like better than when they walked in like in the sense of like anything in my life but especially like podcasts like that's not even like why i do the podcast but like as far as like guests go I think that's also like goes behind like a lot of it I've noticed is like hospitality and that stuff I get from Zoe. So like there's yeah. a lot of the reason that I am the way I am or like certain things it all comes from that. But that is it. The camera's dying or else I'd ask more questions. But hope you guys enjoy this Q&A. Let us know if you guys want to see more. And I'm going to be doing answering a few more things. And but listen we're to the done. podcast. Listen to the podcast. I'll have a link down below. Um, and can I have some of the clips from... Yeah, Stay absolutely. Tuned. Yeah, That's definitely. Good. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna leave because I've been in the studio since like forever, yeah, and it's, it's time to get out of here. It's over with. It's it's closed. We're done. Done for today. Good job, guys. Okay, I'm now leaving, and I'm heading home. Good day. We recorded so much. Got Okay guys, it is the next day. I know my camera died in the middle of that outro. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more questions and I didn't, obviously there's no way I can cover everything. If you guys wanna see a part two or you wanna see like specific things, let me know. Let me know what videos you guys like want to see and we'll do that. But I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have not checked out my podcast, it's I love you guys, or I love you so much. Sounds the same. Um, You guys should check it out. Let me know what you think, but love you guys so much and I'll see you soon.